Hi, welcome to The Real Ishe. So as you can see, I'm holding in my hand some cute little Dior baby shoes here. I will be DIYing these, and in fact, I have two pair of these that I'm going to be DIYing. One of them is going to be like a Tiffany blue glitter. I think I'm going to try to do like a light blue glitter. And then the other one is going to be pink. Now, they're going to be separate shoes, so one pair is going to be pink. The other one is going to be like a aqua blue and what I'm going to be doing is like I said by the end of December I'm going to be posting until the end of December of 2020 I'm going to be posting DIY projects but most of those projects are going to be giveaways so I'm going to leave everything in the description as what you need to do if you want that item if I don't hear anything from anyone by December of 2020 for any of the items that I post that I say as a giveaway I will be giving them away to some charity okay so they won't go in vain they will be going to someone alright so for this particular shoe again I'm going to be covering it in glitter and then what I'm going to also be doing is putting um, rhinestones on the Dior words there okay so stay tuned if you want to see this duo as it comes to pink as well as Tiffany blue color glitter Dior shoes all right bye bye okay so what I'm going to do is actually tape off part of this actually the bow here I'm going to tape it off because I don't want any glue or anything to get on it so just to protect it as much as I can um, I don't think I'm going to be taping around here. Hopefully nothing gets off on it. I'm going to try to be as careful as I can and leave this section white. This is like a beige actually. So that's what I'm going to do. Nope, you can use any pink color that you want to. It doesn't have to be an AB uh, lucent type of glitter. You can use any type of glitter that you want. I'm leaving some links below on some of the color um, that I've used, that I'm using in this video, or that I think will go well on these shoes. But ultimately, you can pick whatever color that you want to pick. Now, let's get started.
Okay, so as you can see, they're dry. Um, I'm going to have to put another coat on here. I actually put one of these coats on, but you can put as many coats as you like on here, you know, as to whatever preference color that you want. Um, I was going to leave the back, the initial color that it was, but I will be doing a second well a third coat on here because of some of the edges here but for the most part this color covers pretty well i like the way it covers and if you notice any maybe glitter or some glue got off on here then you can just prick it off with your fingernails but what i don't like about this color i actually ended up substituting it for this but this pink glitter you see how it's the glitter is what it is you see how it's clunky here I don't like the way that looks so I'm actually going to be um, I think I'm gonna be changing this to a hot pink that's the only way I'm going to actually be able to cover up all the imperfections in the way that I want to cover it up and then I was thinking about actually going over it with this um, this is a glitter glue and um, I'll leave, I don't know if you can be able to find this, but the exact one, I'll leave a link below as to similar ones that you can get. But I'm changing up some of the colors that I'm using. And you'll notice that when you're doing DIY projects, that certain things just don't pan out the way that you expect them to. And so, you know, you just have to improvise and go with the next thing. I wanted to do a lighter pink, but now I'm going to I'm noticing with the effects here, I'm going to have to go with a darker pink to actually make it the perfect in the way that I want to look. Okay, so let's proceed.
Okay, so as you can see, I put the last coat on, and what I'm going to do is allow it to dry for a few hours. And um, I'll come back and do the ribbon part of it. It stones. And oh, FYI, if for whatever reason you're not able to find these Dior shoes, because um, I'm going to try to leave a link, but I'm not sure if they have these in stock, then you can always just buy you a pair of baby booties. I'll leave that as an alternative option down below as well. And you can just make them your own. You know, um, it's, it, pro it most likely won't have the Dior at the bottom of the shoe unless you have like some Dior fabric that you can glue along the bottom of the shoe. You know, I'm not sure where you can find that. I'll see if I can research it and put it in the in the link. Um, and then if you find some ribbon-based shoes like these, then you can always write the name Dior on it. I mean, it's all on how you be creative. You can write the name Dior on it and then just um, put the design that I'm going to put on here. So um, that was just a, a idea if you can't find the regular Dior shoes online. Again, I'm going to allow these to dry and I'll be back with the pink ones. Okay, so as I stated, what I was going to do is allow this to dry some. Um, I'm still noticing a few imperfections on the glitter portion of the shoe. I don't have any of that glitter glue. Well, what you can always do, um, I don't think I'm going to do another layer of glitter on these. I am going to just go over it with this. But if you're noticing that you see cracks and things like that, you can just mix the Mod Podge in a bowl with the glitter of choice. And just to start start going over your item like that and um, I want to see how this glue here actually end up covering let me see how, uh, this is messy very messy um, probably should have on two gloves even though I don't think that this particular glue is toxic but just to be safe Okay, so I'm probably going to be getting this paper a little messy. So make sure you have like a paper that you can put this on or a, a paper um, plate or something. So you can get all the glue that you need out to put on the shoe. As you can see.
You see how it gets the sparkle, little sparkle look. Now these are some huge chunks. Um, I'm gonna leave a couple of uh, a couple of options that you can choose from in the description box because I noticed that these have huge crystal chunks on it. So it's really up to you if you want smaller chunks or bigger chunks. But these are large. 